welcome to the overview video for the brand spanking new TDS Aegis. We are here looking at this new beauty. Aegis is a heavy ship, although a bit weird in that regard. Uh, difficulty is rated as a medium, a total length of 1664 meters, base hull strength of a very good and solid 12,000, initial max speed of 430, yes. Yes, indeed, this is the fastest heavy that is out there. The Aegis is uh, extremely mobile, I should say. Uh, it's got an attack rating of 7, defense rating of 9, and a utility score of 7. It is rated as a uh, defense ship with a lot of utility. If we go into the loadout, we can see that the main cannon is the Absorb Smart Cannon. Yes, a smart cannon on a heavy, max range of 12,500 meters. Quality of 10, uh, drains energy away from the enemies towards its own system, much like the Raven. Uh, we have the Transference Projector, this is the uh, right mouse button skill, uh, range 17,500 meters, effect of 5 seconds, and this transfers 115% of the damage taken into energy for the Aegis. Uh, damage reduction also of 75%, so that is pretty massive um you can do all sorts of fun things but it's mainly built around uh oh our healer or whatever guy is taking a lot of damage or is about to take a lot of damage let's shield him and at the same time we get a whopping amount of energy back then we have the transference shield which does more or less the same thing but is targeted on the Aegis itself the effective duration of seven seconds transfers energy at a ratio of 85% and has a damage reduction of, I'd say merely, but it's still pretty substantial, 30%. And then we have the thing, what it's all about, the Particle Accelerator. A max range of, yes, 30,220 meters. This thing fires a snowball, which, as it uh, moves along, increases in size and then slowly moves through the enemies that it hits, doing a base damage of 850 points per second. Imagine enemies cowering at their FOB behind their shield, or setting up in gamma, being all nicely packed together, and then firing this thing into them. The downside is that it takes 8 seconds to charge, and it takes 7,500 energy. Now, that wouldn't be a problem, but like the Raven and like the Persecutor, the default max energy does not generate above half its max value. So you will need to get a lot of extra energy from somewhere before you can fire this. So mainly using the transfer shield, but especially the transfer projector on the allies will help you get this. Then it also has the Blinked Shift Buoy, which is a nice little addition. Fires it at a range of 12,000 meters or until it hits something. And then you have a spool up time of 5 seconds before you blink to your buoy. Now, be this being a buoy, it can be taken down. You can do all sorts of nifty things. Blink back if you need to because you're suddenly being swarmed or about to be swarmed. Let blink forward to get faster into position. Blink upward, downwards, just to confuse the enemy. Uh, or to get into position for your particle accelerator. And then of course there is the engine with the max thrust of 430. Those are the systems. Let's see how they handle in a real fight. Level with me, okay. So I'm um, by my own for now. Enemy spotted. Damn it. Didn't get to take it down in time. So when it the shield is up, the best thing to do is stop firing. That way he's not gonna get a lot of energy. Ah, Raven's here. The 
this guy does indeed know what he is doing. But. I believe my shot got actually cancelled due to the extreme energy drain. Alright, with the Raven here, let's try some uh, utility upgrade. Raven, wow. What's he doing all the way over there? Gonna get himself killed, but huh? Firing for a second. He did not get out on time. Now we actually have enough energy for our particle cannon. Particle accelerator cannon.
pretty sure what's going on here. Guess we got two cloakers lurking. TV like this. Cool. They've destroyed one of ours. A little bit of damage still. Well said, Palabon. Well said. They've taken down one of ours. Take control of the station. Let me just hit level five. We're already at level six. Capture secure. Grab some more utility. Utility upgrade selected. Patched up. Not easy hitting such a big target, you know. The enemy is capturing an allied station. Warning, energy output is now dropping. Nah, it fizzled again. I'm sick and tired of this. Against ravens, it's really hard to do your thing. So let's take care of the raven, shall we? Oh look, there's a ghost. Mostly ghost. Oh, no, they are far as that guy. This is already it, actually. Oh. Let's uh, see about getting out of here. Destination Let's actually see about getting out of here. A lot. As in all the friggin' way. Ah, oh, they're still not all level 6. Want to get some repairs? Finish the job. Ghostly ghost is here again. Just being annoying. This poor guy's gonna get ripped to shreds.
Let's see if we can get this Raven. You'll be able to. Quite easily. Thank you for giving me some energy before we uh, have to go. The Aegis is a powerful ship, but to take it twice, I don't think that's a great idea. Argus is still in there. Hunting our oh, levy. Okay. And he actually took down their coast. Yeah, this is going to be it. Grabbing our level 8. See if we can uh, give that pioneer some attention. No, we can just do this. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did and subscribe if you want to see more. Do leave a comment in the section down below because I love hearing from you. And I hope to see you all again next time in Fractured Space.